Hi, this is Pro Mechanic and Wheel Builder Jim Langley here to explain an important and common spoke lacing pattern to learn for building disc wheels. It's Shimano's recommended pattern, which is used widely and trusted. It's for standard J-Bend spokes. The thing about Shimano disc lacing is because the front and rear wheels use different spoke patterns, it can be confusing. I find that if I stop and think about what's creating the force on the spokes on the wheel I'm lacing, I never get confused about how to lace it. Here's what Shimano recommends. I'll start with the front wheel. It's simpler and easier to remember. Keep in mind that the major force on front wheels comes from the disc rotor. Since the wheel is going forward, the brake force pulls back on the rotor. Because on front wheels, you only have to counter this braking force on the drive side and the non-drive side of the wheel, the leading spokes are heads in. That way, when braking, the spokes on both sides of the hub have their bends supported by the hub flanges, optimizing the resistance to the braking force. Front disc lacing is a symmetrical lacing pattern, also called mirror image lacing. With rear wheels, there are major forces on both sides. On the drive side from the pedaling force and the non-drive side is just like the front hub. The force comes from the disc brake rotor. Because both sides need to be laced to resist that side's specific force direction, for the drive side, trailing spokes are heads in to handle the forces of pedaling. And, as you probably already figured out, on the non-drive side, you copy what's on the front wheel with the leading spokes heads in. Rear disc lacing is an asymmetrical lacing pattern, also called identical lacing. I hope this quick tip helps you in your wheel building. Please add your tips and any questions in the comments below.